Hi everyone, welcome to NAS Kitchen. I hope we're all having a fantastic day so far. What do we have on the menu today? Today we have what Ghanaians call bullfruit and Nigerians call puff puff. If you want to know how to achieve this delicious delicacy, come with me and let's get started. So, we have the ingredients here. I have three cups of flour here. I have one cup of sugar. I have half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half um, a teaspoon of um, allspice, which is optional. I have a pinch of salt. I have seven grams of active dry yeast. I have about a quarter cup of um, fresh milk, which is optional as well. And I have two, um, a cup of water. So let's get started. So to start off, I always make a hole in my bowl and I go in with my nutmeg, my allspice and my salt and mix it up. Next I go in with my yeast and my sugar. Make sure you mix it very well. Make sure everything incorporates into the flour really, really well. Okay. So once everything is incorporated, you should feel it that you don't have the sugar on one side. Like whatever, everything should really mix up well. Once everything is done, I go in with my water. Same thing, I'm going to put a hole in the bowl and start mixing up. Warm water, actually. I forgot to mention that. Mix up. You don't have to pour everything in at once. You can pour it in gradually and then be mixing it up to see how it turns out. Because some, what I've realized is sometimes I end up not needing two cups of water or might even need a little bit more. I don't know why that happens though. Okay, so let's go in with the rest. Make sure I mix everything in really well. Let me come in with my milk. It's actually fresh milk warmed up as well. Mix it really well. So here we have it guys. I'm done. So um, I'm going to have it sit in a warm place. Not hot. Warm. You can actually warm your microwave for like maybe 30 seconds or to um, an, a minute and just place it in. And what I do is I make it rise twice. When I put it in for about 45 minutes, I take it and mix it up again and leave it in my microwave for another 45 minutes before I fry it because that makes it not too heavy so after 45 minutes this is how a puff puff or bullfrog aka to bear looks like 
but I choose to put it back in the oven after activating the yeast a second time. You can fry it this way, but I just this is just my way of making it feel a little lighter. So with my hands already washed, I'm going to activate the yeast once again in the bofu. If your dough does not rise at least twice the size it was before you put it in your warm um, microwave or warm oven, then there's something wrong with your yeast. The yeast is supposed to have it rise. Okay, so after activating the yeast a second time, I'm going to cover it up and put it back in my warm oven. Okay, that's it. Okay, friends, so our both food is ready to be fried. Like I said, I had, I had to wait for it to rise a second time. And I have my oil already heat up. So all I'm just going to do is fry it now. This is exactly how I remember my mom doing it. <laughs> so funny. Okay. It's fun though. Throwing it about in my arm like that. So here we have it friends, our buffalo is ready. Our buffalo aka puff puff aka tobe is ready right here. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes, and it tastes amazing. It tastes delicious. It's just mouth watering. I hope you all are inspired to try this recipe. If you do it, just leave me a thumbs up, a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and you have a blessed day.